everybody and welcome back. It is fabulous to have you all back again here on this delightful day. I hope you're all doing well. Today we have a lovely video for you. I have 10 ways to look expensive and chic and classy on a budget. Stick around. Easy ways. <music> Hi everybody and welcome back. Yes, it is fabulous to have you all back again here today. Just wanted before we go on say a big sorry about the focus in the last video. I got a new lens, few difficulty, technical difficulties. You know, it happens, it's real life. But thanks for sticking with me and I think I've sorted it out now and it's all good. So yes, I would like to give my shout out of today to my Sita G. Hi my Sita, how are you? My Sita's always commenting down below and I see all of your comments by the way and I'll get to all of them. I know it's taking me a bit longer these days because my numbers are growing. Keep liking, keep subscribing and commenting because I really, really do appreciate that. Now, I have a really, really interesting and beautiful fragrance for you today because it came in new this morning. And it's none other than, I've never ever had this brand before and I've just heard wonderful things about it. So I had to try it, of course, didn't I? I just had to try it. Let me know if you have it. It's Ebra Pura by Zerzhov. This is the packet right here. And I just think it is just the most stunning, stunning packaging. Really, really beautiful. And it's in this purple and blue box and inside, da da look at the bottle. She is a beauty. I have heard so many good things about Zerzhov and their other fragrances, Naxos and things like that. This one is a fruity, very fruity, kind of musky, a little bit powdery in there as well. She has like bergamot in there. She has lime, she has citrus, lots and lots of fruits, bit of vanilla, bit of musk. So let's just see. Hmm. <sighs> Do you know what? It's beautiful. It's a bit different than I was expecting. It's very, very light, actually. It's much lighter than I was expecting, so that's nice, because I have a lot of, there's a little bit of amber in here, but I think it's in the dry down, so that'll be interesting to smell later on. But a really interesting one to try out. Really nice and fresh. Definitely a summer kind of a scent. I know I'm late on this, but I just love the bottle. Look at it. It's just so, so beautiful. But if you like citrus and you like fruits and bergamot, vanilla, musk, all that kind of stuff, the notes will be up above and there you go. Now, without further ado, let's move on to the good stuff. Number one, the first point of looking classy and elegant, first of all, is to be comfortable in your skin and be happy and content in your life. Of course, they're the most important things, but we can have a little help. We all need a little bit of help on the way. So I thought the first thing to share and tips I've learned along the way to modeling and fashion shows and different things like that is the elegance and chicness and classiness of a white shirt. White shirt, white top, white dress, neutral clothes in general, whether they be light pinks, greys, greys, beige, all those kind of neutral colors just give you that kind of lift. They really, really do. And especially in autumn, winter, I love whites and creams in autumn, winter. The winter white look I think is just so classy, so chic. I just think it's a beautiful, beautiful combination. Again, you just can't go wrong with a white shirt, white top. It just makes you feel fresh, uplifted, elegant. You can wear it to any social occasion, whether it be dinners, you know, events or whatever it may be. I just think it is a staple in anybody's closet. And you don't have to break the bank to buy a nice crisp white top. There's plenty of them out there on the market. The second thing I think you should do to elevate your look and I'll put in a bit of B-roll for this one, is to have a beautiful pointy toe heel. Now, it can be in a nude, in a white. I love a square toe, I'll give you that as well, in a nice classic kind of ballet pump. I love that as well, but I just love, there's something about a pointed toe shoe that just elevates your leg. It just screams classiness. It's just the shape of the shoe. It, you know, you can wear it with pants, dresses, skirts, just stunning, stunning. I actually love a pointy toe shoe with a pair of pants, I really do. And on the neutrals, again, actually, even like white jeans, I love white jeans even in the winter. So there are a couple of points. Number three, moving on, is jewelry. And I just think I love my jewelry, as you know, I bought a few really nice pieces in the last year or two, and I have lucky enough to have a few nice pieces in my collection, but I just think few, elegant pieces, simple pieces to wear because everyday jewelry doesn't have to be over the top. I know like some people like a statement, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm more of an elegant, simple, pared down kind of, that's the way I like to dress. And I just like jewelry that actually goes with everything. Like this piece goes with everything. My Cartier jewelry just goes with everything. I can wear it every day. I don't have to think every day, what am I gonna wear, what am I not? It's hard wearing, it's durable. I would rather put my money into something like that. And this piece isn't, I think this piece was, was it? 
Majuri or Anna Louise, I think it was Majuri, and it was about $176. If I can find it, I'll link it down below. And I love it. It's that snake kind of necklace, but you can just throw it on and you look a little bit more put together. So definitely a few classic chic, and like even my Cartier jewelry there is very, I mean, it's simple, you know, they're not over the top. I have a few diamond pieces inside that I can't wear because you just can't wear it every day. So I think it just elevates your outfit and brings it to that next level, you know? Now, number four. Number four, I went with entry level designer pieces. Now, what do we mean by that? Well, way back when, I'll just show you about, I have this particular piece for about 25 years, believe it or not. This is a Gucci belt. I got 25 years ago. If you can see it there, I hope you can. And I just have worn this belt. It's a dark brown kind of a patent. I'm very like the little Hermes belts now with the, uh, the Kelly belts. Just simple, chic. This doesn't ever go out of style. I've worn this, I don't know how many times, just to give it that kind of extra little bit of kick and the extra little bit of oomph you know, to your outfit. And it's a really nice Christmas present as well. If you're thinking what to get somebody, whether it be a Gucci belt, could be an Hermes, a Chanel, doesn't, whatever, Dior, whatever you like. You could go with a scarf. Scarfs are just amazing little pieces to add that little extra elevation on your outfit again. And another piece I've always kind of gone for are sunglasses. If you have a nice pair of sunglasses and you know, you don't have to have everything designer, but you're, you can get a beautiful pair of Celine. You can even get them secondhand that have never been worn and they will really Really elevate your outfit you're sitting out for lunch and you have a simple little white top on but you have your shades on just little touches like that that really do bring your outfit up to the next level moving on from your entry-level designer pieces I have gone with a jacket everybody needs a jacket and I said and some people will say that this piece is out of date but it's not out of date a classic blazer is never out of date this balmain will stay i think in my closet for a very very long time it's a classic piece you can't beat the structured shoulders i only have i wouldn't recommend to have too many of them i love this blue that goes with my jeans and things like that it tucks in beautifully at the waist and it really is it's a fabulous jacket now i don't wear a lot of jackets because i travel in my car a lot but when i do i like to put this piece on i've only worn it a couple of times being very honest but i've told you that before but it is a good piece to have if you're a jacket person and if not then I would go with if you're a bit more edgy I would go with this piece which is your classic biker jacket and I wear these to death when I'm going out of an evening with friends for dinner for drinks I'm a real kind of throw on a biker jacket pair of black jeans heels I just love it I feel comfortable I feel like me and again that it's all about how you feel and I really do think if you're comfortable in your outfit you will definitely look more elegant, more chic, more put together, because it's about how you feel on the inside. It just exudes on your face and you feel like, I'm rocking this. I feel comfortable in this, rather than fidgeting all night and, you know, it's just not a good look. Moving on from jackets, I think to finish off your look, I would go with a natural looking makeup, particularly as we get a little bit older. You don't want to, you know, mutton dressed up as lamb. You want to kind of accentuate your features and just draw attention to all the right areas rather than all the wrong areas. Nobody needs to be doing that. And I just think a very natural look just to flatter what you already have. You know, accentuate your eyebrows, your cheekbones, a little bit of highlighter, and just not too much foundation. You don't want it going into any cracks or creases that we might have. So just less is more. And even throughout life and throughout everything I'm finding, less is definitely more in everything that we acquire. Yeah, it really does follow through because you don't have to look after as much and it's just an easier way of life. Moving on from there, another great way to acquire really nice pieces and elegant at a lower fraction of the cost is to buy vintage. As you all know, I have this beauty, and she looks lovely with the white actually, and I really want to wear her more coming up to Christmas now. When I bought this bag, I loved her and I was like, oh my God, it's beautiful, it's vintage. I have to have a vintage piece because of the 24 karat gold plating and the lambskin is different and the story and the history. And I got this from a Japanese seller actually. And I'm gonna do a video as well because somebody asked me where they could buy and how to buy secondhand or how to buy luxury in general and tips. I'm gonna do a video on that. If you'd like to see that, leave a comment down below because I I'll list a couple of sellers that I would recommend. And this piece is just more and more as I go down the road of my collection, I just appreciate her so much more, the quality of her, the beauty of her, the story behind her, and how much I got her for. So I paid 2,000, I think it was about two and a half thousand euro for this bag a couple of years ago, 
We all know the size of the small Chanel, now the classic flap. I think they're up on six, isn't it? Five and a half, six thousand? I think they are. So it's just crazy. Don't be afraid of vintage. Just do your research. Do your research. eBay have a great policy now as well, whereas if it's not authenticated, they will refund you your money and stuff. So you're a little bit safer. And research, 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 research. Ask us, ask other YouTubers for recommendations. We will help out. But definitely have a look. You can still get some good deals. I mean, I know they're getting more expensive and you're not always gonna get the best deal now because they're all going up in price, but it's definitely worth looking into and they're just beauties. Moving on from there, there's always the option of a designer dupe. I'm not saying a fake, I'm not really into fakes or anything like that, but a designer dupe is different. It's a completely different brand in themselves, but they look like a bag that you might recognize. Like this bag that I got recently from Simbono, and I actually really love this bag. I said, yes, it reminds me of the Bottega Veneta Jody bag, but I wanted to put my money somewhere else. I didn't want to buy that bag and it didn't have a crossbody. Like my lifestyle at the moment is running up and down to shops and doing things like that. It's great if you want to just go for lunch or something, but this has you know, both options. So I'll leave links down below for this. It's a really nice color green. It was the green that got me, that parakeet green. I absolutely love it. And I just wanted to add some color and injection into my wardrobe. So moving on to number nine, I would recommend, this is a top thing I have done for years and years and years, recommend you to buy and invest in your bags and in your shoes, your particularly designer bags and shoes, if that's your thing. Clothes, I just think, you know, you can buy nice tops from Zara, H&M, High Street, ASOS, wherever, Forever 21. You can buy nice jeans, you can buy nice tops in the sale. They don't have to be designer. Plus, you know, the way trends are, they come in, they go out. You want classic pieces in your wardrobe that are going to be around forever and they're not just trendy pieces, which is, you know, why sometimes maybe you can go for an understated piece which would last you a bit longer. But with shoes and with handbags, I really do feel you get the value out of them particularly handbags and shoes you wear them so you don't get your cost per wear back as much but I would just really really advise if you like that you go for the classic handbags and the investment handbags and the investment shoes and then build everything else around it it all doesn't have to be just mix and match it's actually really good fun to do that and the very last point what I would recommend is to look elegant and classy and look in tip-top shape is to always have groomed hair and groomed nails. It's not always easy, particularly the last couple of years, it hasn't been always easy and it's getting more expensive, but there's little tips and tricks along the way. Like I was getting gel nails there for a couple of years. I stopped doing that, now I'm getting shellac again. My reason for that was basically because it was taking too long to do the gel nails and I just prefer, it takes 20 minutes to do shellac. So it lasts me a couple of weeks and it's just worth the money. I don't have to think about it when I'm going filming or working or anything else. And to have your hair, done pretty much you know to a nice standard all the time yeah it can be a pain in the bum I know us women know what it's like having to do your hair all the time but it makes a big difference in how you feel about yourself so that's it my friends for today if there's anything else you'd like me to do in the next week or two just give us a shout and don't forget to subscribe like and comment and hit the notification bell it helps us a lot here as well and until next time as always be kind be safe and be compassionate love you lots Mwah.